It is a beach that few people have been to and a new deal discussed at the Coastal Commission meetings in Scott Valley this past week could keep it that way. We showed you what it took to get to Corta Canyon Beach, the pristine stretch of California's coast near Santa Barbara. It lies within the boundaries of Hollister Ranch and it's only accessible by kayak or boat. A group of wealthy landowners is fighting to restrict access to the beach, a battle with far reaching implications. Now I went to that beach with Kit Doe in the way described in the settlement by Ocean Kayak. It is, as they say, a killer beach. You better be a strong swimmer. But is it one worth dying for? People will die if they don't know what they're doing. It was with those words of warning from Tamlorn Chase, our kayak guide, and a guy who looks like he could be an oarsman on a Viking warship echoing in our head, that fellow KPIX reporter and lifelong friend Kit Doe and I found ourselves on a tiny kayak on the open ocean north of Santa Barbara. A journey through shark infested waters at more than once made us question why we were willing to risk so much just to reach a beach you've probably never heard of. And if a group of rich landowners had their way, you'd never step foot on. It's a special area and it's one that under our California Constitution, every Californian has a right to access the ocean in that area. A bit of history is in order. I promise it will help us navigate the churning political waters that have shaped a controversial settlement regarding the public's right of access to Corta Beach, part of Hollister Ranch, a sprawling seaside gated and exclusive community. In 1972, voters approved Prop 20, which rewrote the California Constitution, enshrining the principle that the coastal zone is a, quote, valuable natural resource belonging to all people. The voters in California put in their constitution that the beaches are immune from that. They're exempt from private property. But Hollister Ranch, which had been carved up into prime beachfront property two years before that vote, has been fighting for the past 50 years now to make sure that its private roads and private property aren't used by the public to reach the beach. What it is like today is essentially a, pl a private playground. And I just think it's unfair, you know, and, and there's a lot of human beings who, have the, who should have the right to use it. So for decades, the beaches at Hollister have been like a distant ship on the horizon. Beautiful, seductive, elusive, and unreachable. Oh, there's been people who've tried and gotten turned around on the guard shack. or ticketed on the train tracks that hug the coast. Even a boat has to launch from Santa Barbara, 30 plus miles and several hours away. We just got a boat like less than a year ago and I keep talking to my son, hey, when are we gonna go to, you know, Hollister Ranch? He's like, oh dad, it's such a hassle because, you know, we, you know, we gotta drive like 40 miles each way. We barely can put enough gas in our boat to do it. It's an all day affair which begins to explain the deep disappointment with the Coastal Commission settlement deal, which provides the general public access, but only by the ocean to the beaches at Hollister. I don't want this beach to get trashed by over visitation and people not caring and just, you know, oh, these rich people live here, let them pick it up. That's not cool at all. Um, and it's also not cool to have people dying to try to access something that is within the public domain. The Coastal Commission held public hearings this week on the settlement, but reaction had already come flooding in. Some had been positive. One described it as a, quote, world-class example of private conservation. But most have not been so kind. The commission has been buried beneath wave upon wave of angry emails, blasting the deal as dangerous, warning that it invites injury, reminding the commission that the coast is for everyone, and pleading please don't gentrify California's treasures. But the claims that the settlement offers a benefit for the public are highly strained. The public's rights of access are really not gonna be enlarged at all. A judge in Santa Barbara County will ultimately have to sign off on the deal that many fear is a significant setback for the right of public access to all beaches. Which of course brings us back to the kayak. We made the journey with a bit of daring and our fair share of stubborn defiance telling us we can't do something is only motive to prove we can. That's not to say that everything went smoothly. Back battle. Oh, they're going for it. We capsized as we first came ashore. <laughs> and I got seasick a lot. Thankfully, Kit, a true blue friend, never hit the record button, so you'll just have to imagine that. Or 
maybe not. But like the best journeys, we got there and back again and lived to tell the tale of a killer beach that many fear might just live up to that reputation. A lot of guys a lot stronger than me have been swallowed by this channel. A state agency like a large ship at sea doesn't change direction readily or quickly, so charting a new course may be more challenging than it seems. Commissioners would need to schedule a vote, presumably at next month's meeting, and the clock is ticking. A Santa Barbara County judge is scheduled to finalize the deal in September.